Your conduct must be free from the love of money, and you must be content with what you have. For he has said, I will never leave you, and I will never abandon you. The Epistle to the Hebrews, chapter 13, verse 5. If we can only grasp these words by faith, we have an all-conquering weapon in our hand. What doubt cannot be slain by this two-edged sword? What fear is there which shall not fall smitten with a deadly wound before this arrow from the bow of God's covenant? Will not the distresses of life and the pangs of death Will not the corruptions within and the snares without? Will not all the trials from above and the temptations from beneath all seem to be but light afflictions when we can hide ourselves beneath the bulwark of He has said? Indeed, whether for delight in our quietude or for strength in our conflict, He has said must be our daily resort. And this may teach us the extreme value of searching the scriptures. There may be a promise in the word which would exactly fit your case, but you do not know of it, and therefore you miss its comfort. You are like prisoners in a dungeon, and there may be one key in the bunch which would unlock the door, and you might be free if you would only look for it. You may remain a prisoner still, though liberty is so close to hand. There might indeed be a potent medicine in the great pharmacopoeia of Scripture, and yet you continue to be sick until you examine and search the Scriptures to discover what he has said. Should you not, despite and besides reading the Bible, store your memories richly with the promises of God. You can recollect the sayings of great men. You treasure the verses of the renowned poets. Ought you not also to be profound in your knowledge of the words of God, in order that you are able to quote them readily when you need to solve a difficulty or overthrow a doubt? Since he has said is the source of all wisdom, the font of all comfort, let it dwell in you richly as a well of water springing up into everlasting life. And in this way you will grow to be healthy, strong and happy in the divine life. Amen.